hello guys and welcome once again to savannah essence today we are going to be making this beautiful soft smooth fluffy feeling looking beautiful body butter <laughs> okay we're going to be making this body butter that looks like a lotion but first let's find out how we got this yellow color okay so i've had a lot of you ask me how we come about the yellowish color we get so how we infuse our turmeric in our oils so to start off that's what we're going to be doing so you need your container you need your turmeric powder whichever brand you use you need your measuring spoons and then your oil in this case we are using coconut oil as our oil of preference to make this infusion so to start off you want to weigh your oils because you always want your your color to or your infusions to be consistent so if you notice that you realize that my yellow color all throughout every single body butter that i have used turmeric infused oils the color has been the same okay and also you do not to mix things so you want to be able to get to a place where you make an infusion that does not stain so to start off i am using this container that takes in about 450 grams of oil so i'm going to be measuring 400 grams of coconut oil this is version pure version coconut oil so you can use whichever one you have at your disposal and then in there i'll be infusing my turmeric powder into it and i'm using five percent of turmeric powder five percent of the oil weight that's how i do the infusions i do the infusion based on the oil weight so if my turmeric powder if my my coconut oil is 400 grams i am going to infuse five percent of that which in this case is I think around um, is it 20 grams yes and that's what I'm going to be using to uh, make this infusion for this uh, this turmeric oil so usually when it comes to oil infusions my go-to is usually 10% but turmeric stains like I've said over and over turmeric stains you need to be able to make your infusions in such a way that they do not stain the end product that you're going to be using this oil to make so basically this is all that i do i do it like this i set it aside for like a week or so and that's okay and i'm good to go in this case i'm not going to set it aside for a week because i don't really need it to sit for that long i'm going to be using this the next day so you realize that the next day or even two days after this infusion is good enough to go you just need to shake it when you are done shake it to ensure that everything is thoroughly dissolved and you can get all the benefits of the turmeric coming into the coconut oil so you now have you know not just coconut oil but an infusion of it so it gets some benefits of the turmeric so it doesn't only give it the color it also gives you know the the skin benefits of the turmeric powder such as cleaning your dark spots and stuff like that so after 24 hours this is how the oil looks like so you realize that the turmeric will now have settled at the base of your container giving you this nice clear looking oil this is how it looks uh don't let it look up this uh, uh this will make you feel like though this still looks it's very yellow this is a very yellowish oil so that's how we make the turmeric infused oil so now that we have that under the way let's measure our butters and our oils and at this point we are quite familiar with how to do that in this video we are going to be using a different technique so we have made three different body butters or two different body butters at this point this is the third one in each of them we have made a different um we have used a different technique in terms of how we mix our butters our solid butters and our liquid oils so there's one that we melted our oils our, our solid butters with our liquid butters together there's one that we melted it came back poured in our liquid oils this time around we are just going to melt our butters only as we have it here so this is just the butters we haven't added the coconut or anything we are going to whip just the butters and then gradually introduce the liquid oils to it so this is the third technique that you can also use in making your body butters so of all the three this is my most preferred one this is where i get to you know i have my go-to recipe but i can also whip and as it goes i can tell whether i need to change my recipe and because these are oils and butters it's always easy to do that as and when there's nothing really to uh to to, to that's a problem 
and so you know uh, this is my go-to technique i whip the butters and then i introduce the oils as and when i i i or oh, when i go along um based on the recipe that i'm going to be using so you whip it for some time and then you can now start introducing your liquid oil so i'm going to start with our turmeric infused coconut oil and i'm going to use my measuring spoon in this case because turmeric you know if you joke it just turns everything into a yellowish substance so you can see that this is a very yellowish color and this oil has just been infused for roughly uh, 24 to 48 hours and it already has this very nice bright yellowish color and a little bit of it goes a long way you really do not need a lot of it and usually when you are using the turmeric infused oil make sure that you are using it in a product where you have other things in there to dilute it so you know you're not using it on its own you are using it in addition to other oils other butters and then it sort of dilutes it and you know at the end of the day it's still you know that's the way the way it's supposed to so look at how it's basically just changed the color of our butter okay so as for pepin at this point i think we are all comfortable and conversant with how to go about it So if this is your new the, the first time you're watching this video you are welcome we are running a series on uh, body butters so it's a body butters for beginners pro uh, series and this is the third video in the series so i'll encourage you to watch the first and the second one it gives you a detailed explanation of what we are doing and um, you get an understanding about the tweaks and the changes and the tips that i'm talking about so i'll try and link the various videos in this um somewhere here and also i'll share that the videos in the description box and the playlist so you can just go and check out the playlist is the body battle 101 playlist and you have we have a number of videos in there where you have a variety of recipes on body butters that you can make and these are body butters you can actually make and sell these are not just you know mm -hmm. <laughs> and also you can formulate your own so we are adding in at this point our other oil which is our sesame seed oil we are also going to at this point just add our other additives like the arrowroot powder and we will also be using this uh we'll be using a fragrance oil this is called a cocoa in uh fragrance oil i've had it for a long time so i'm going to i'm going to use use them too so you realize that this gives you a very liquidy and this recipe is the same as the one we used in the previous video so it's the same recipe and uh, the oil um you have 60 percent butters and then 40 percent oil so once you do this you realize that this become a very light mixture very very light and runny and so you just want to whip it ensure that everything that you have added especially the arrowroot powder is thoroughly mixed in and then what you do at this point is that you can leave it um, it will sort of thicken up on its own especially with weather conditions so as it's running you are not going to be able to it's runny you're not going to be able to get that fluffy uh, consistency that you want because look at it it's very liquidy so what I'll do is that I'll leave this for some 10 15 to 20 minutes by the time I come back it's thickened up or stiffed up a little bit like so and this way I can continue to whip it up and then gets me that fluffy consistency that I like so I'll give this a whip for another five minutes and then by then everything is fine and i like the texture i like the feel and everything and at this point i can just mix everything together to ensure that i haven't left any side out and the texture is even throughout and uh, this is our simple turmeric infused shea body butter okay okay 
<laughs> so kindly let me know if you'll be trying this i really need to know who and who will be trying this let me know in the comment section let me know if you also you've tried it let me know if you don't like how yellowish this is you can always reduce the quantity of the turmeric infusion so you can reduce it i use five percent you can reduce it to two percent or three percent okay or if you come from a place where your turmeric is very potent and you find that it's still staining your clothes or it's staining you just reduce the percentage of the turmeric that you infused to a smaller percentage maybe one percent maybe two percent okay yeah so this is our beautiful beautiful very nice infused turmeric turmeric body but i love it don't you like it oh look at that look at that this is natural all plants based oils all you know natural ingredients well except that the fragrance oil <laughs> and then you can jar it as usual we are using a 250 gram container meanwhile our recipe is 150 grams so the beauty of the body butter is that it increases in volume and so for those of you who want to go into business with this this is a nice side business for you okay so thank you very much for watching i hope this has been helpful and i hope this video has taught us something new if this has been good please kindly subscribe and like this video okay share it within your circles i would like to know what your friends and family think and like i said i really want to know if you make it in the comment section let me know this is a very beautiful and creamy body butter and the recipe will be in the description box below thank you for watching and then see you in our next video and this is how it applies on my skin it is a very nice butter bye bye <laughs>